Affectionately known as The Bev, the Beverly Country Club has stood the test of time and she has become hallowed grounds for golf architecture enthusiasts and generations of members and their guests. With a golf course designed by the eternally masterful Donald Ross, The Bev is celebrating her centennial with a membership that treats everyone like family. You know, I, I, I hear, uh, you know, the stories all the time about Beverly being such a great golf course. And everybody wants to play Beverly, which it is. There's no doubt about it. It's one of the great tracks in America. Uh, Chicago's got some of the greatest golf courses in the United States right here in Chicago. But I tell you what, uh, the thing that they miss about Beverly, I think, is the uniqueness of the membership. You know, you just got a, just a group of really kind, caring, giving individuals who really, for the most part, care about one another. And that, uh, I think, kind of falls through the cracks when they talk about Beverly Country Club. Well, we all love the golf course, but what I value most is, are the friends that I've met here, the friends and the relationships that I have had over the years. The best way to summarize Beverly Country Club is that it has a golf course with a lot of character and a membership that's full of characters. I mean, this is really uh, a, a great group of people who get to play a great golf course every day. Uh, th this is not your typical stuffy, you know, upper end uh, elitist club. Tucked into the bustling neighborhood at 87th and Western on Chicago's south side, Beverly is an experience from golf's golden age of architecture. The Bev's recent renovations of Ross's original design have maintained the spirit of the legendary architect. This is a credit to her membership in the renovation team headed by Ron Pritchard. It ensures that Beverly Country Club will excite and enthuse future generations. You can put the, the par fives that we have up against any track in, in Chicagoland. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's Donald Ross, uh, you know, designed so that the greens are sloped front to back, you know, very slick. Um, you know, it's straightforward. If you, if you hit it well, you, you can score. If you, if you don't, you, you pay the price. The try and shoot a low score here. There are two things that stand against you. A, the quality of the golf course in terms of how it makes you think. You've got to think your way around this place. You can't just bash it. It's relatively tight still, even with the tree removal. And then the quality of the greens and the structure, if you will, thereon. There are basements and sub-basements in these greens, and you really want to aim there. You don't want to be up on the roof because you're going to get into the basement, and you might roll off and end up in the parking lot first. One unique feature of the Bev is the old tree line that defined farms back in the day. Take a gander next time you're on number five. While Chicago is typically flat, the ridge line that runs through the layout fortifies this challenging par 71 track. It never fails. There's always going to be a guy that will walk in and tell me, you know, how great his game is and, you know, what he's going to shoot here at Beverly that day. And uh, it never fails. that He'll be the guy that I see come in at the end of the day and go to his locker and sit down in front of his locker and all I'll, and the first thing I'll hear is his shoe banging up against the side of the locker as he throws it in frustration. There's so much great golf history at Beverly. The man who spearheaded the game of golf in America, Francis Wimette, captured the 1931 U.S. Amateur here. And the PGA Tour stopped by for a few compelling tournaments in the 1960s. From the Beverly Country Club in Chicago, Illinois, the Western Open. This is a big putt for Jack. He needs this to tie Julius Boris, who is in the clubhouse, four under. 280. He is going right in the center. There it goes, right in the center of the cup. For Jack Nicholas to tie Julius Morris, who is in. Both players, 280. 23 years old, and what a player. The Tenbrook family has put quite a competitive stamp on the Bev. The smooth swinging Rick Tenbrook joined in 1955 at the tender age of seven. He turned into one of the top amateurs in Illinois, and he ruled the club championship at Beverly, winning an amazing 18 times. You never get tired of playing Beverly. That, that's, that's the big thing. I've been playing here for 53 years, and you never get tired of playing the golf course, ever. This blank spot signifies a passing of the baton. Rick's son, Scott, captured the 2008 club championship, beating his dad by the lopsided final tally of eight and seven. 
To be a well-respected club, one needs to have a strong caddy program as well, and Beverly is proud of the many hard-working bag toters that have gone on to college thanks to a Chick Evans scholarship. One of the kids um, said in an interview for their new job, they said, well, how are you going to get along with all these different people? It's a big service-type job. And the caddy, the, the girl who was a caddy said, uh, it's really easy. She says, I've been well prepared. I've, I've dealt with all the different members. I, I've seen people under almost any circumstances. And she learned that by caddying. And then there's Emeritus Pro Dick Carparelli, who's been around nearly as long as Beverly. He was there that fateful day in 1966 when a tornado blew through the grounds in the pro shop. He survived that storm, and he's also persevered in teaching Bob Moisey. After all, he's been working with him since 1955. As he got older, he, he's not as, <laughs> as athletic to swing the club back, so he's got a shorter backswing, and I said, get the bugger back and follow through. Let it fly, he say. But he's still trying, he still can play golf, and he'll keep playing until he falls over. The Grand Clubhouse is certainly the foundation of Beverly Country Club. From the interesting rooms with nooks and crannies to the ornate ceilings, which could probably tell a story or two if one were to listen carefully. Beverly Country Club is a Chicago landmark and a golfer's treat on one of the finest Ross designs in Chi-Town. On the course, when you come to the 599-yard finishing hole aptly titled A Long Way Home, you realize that good fortune has graced you and that you have just experienced a 100-year-old Windy City treasure. Making the turn on 18 when you come up the 18th hole, to me that's just one of the most special moments because you're seeing the club as it was, originally. you know, originally. And it, it's, to me every day is a treat. Having grown up being a caddy here, to me every, every time I come here is a treat because it's really something special. You know, from Chick Evans to Nicholas to Palmer to the Tornado, uh, to making it for a hundred years, you know, here on the south side. Just the fact that Beverly is still around uh, and still prospering as a uh, nationally recognized country club after a hundred years, it's an amazing feat. There are plenty of great tournaments on the horizon at Beverly, including the 2009 United States Senior Amateur, the 2010 Illinois State Amateur, the 2011 Western Junior Amateur, and in 2014, the prestigious Western Amateur Championship.